Yo. Let's start this up so we can get the comments. I guess I don't need to comment, but um, we'll, we'll, we'll sign in so we can do that. Open tab and browser. We got the chat. We got the chat open. We'll put it over here on the Discord. Uh, also, um, I got to pull up my stream so I can send it to people. Your channel, baby. Let's get it. Probably should get the headphones in too. Ooh, echo. Yo, we got a uh, Lockerish in here. Uh -huh. I don't remember if it's. I don't. Don't remember if it's Lock or Loke uh, anymore. Uh, we had this discussion literally last time we had this uh, stream pulled up. But you know it is what it is. It's one of the two, and, and we'll figure it out as we go. Um, <clears throat> Oh, I see there's a little spoiler down in the corner for what's going on in this, but I think we might wait a minute or so just so a couple more people can get in here. I am going to go ahead and, ooh, I accidentally just started up RuneScape. We are not playing RuneScape. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and send this stream link. Yo, hey, you're trying to get on a commission? Um, I, I like that you're bored bear now. I really like that, honestly. I mean, Slayer is hard, like... Like you're the OG Slayer, you know, but um, Board Bear is kind of fire. But uh, commissions, man. Um, yeah, I mean, most of my commission is kind of just like, honestly, I've done these stuff. I've done a lot of these for friends, so I haven't really charged them. And if I have, it's usually just like them um, paying me because they feel bad because I spend like too much time lubing switches. But uh, this is one of my buddies at work, and I've been literally pastoring like everybody at work for months now about keyboards and been like hey come come uh, make a keyboard you, you know um and uh they, you know i finally got one person to do it slayer but your brand is bored yeah i know you said it's a misspelled licorice but is it lockerish or lokerish how you pronounce the oh see that's what i want to know <clears throat> yo creme de la cream uh so let me let me go ahead Okay, I went ahead and posted my, my stream in the self promo, get that stuff going. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, oh, nice fit, bro. Hey, thanks, my dude. Um, been out here on the grind for the fit, dude. Been hitting up Marshalls whenever I can. And I've uh, been getting a lot of these like striped shirts. These vertical striped shirts are kind of in right now and I'm really digging it. Um, it's the way you normally no nah, dude, I dude I'm telling you it's not licorice it's actually lockerish or lokerish but he just won't tell us ah uh, see <laughs> lockerish yeah I told you dude and I know he's lying to me right now but that's okay we're gonna get a candle going gotta get them vibes going you know oh is it is it gonna light let's see it's like slightly lit there we go got the candle vibes going and it is kind of it is does it work better here that, that works a lot better and and we'll, we'll we'll get get the little plant guy down. Ah, no, it looks better over there. Okay, sick. Well, we got some fire on stream, dude. That's kind of that's kind of fire. <clears throat> Bro, Marshall, see, dude, I told you I'd be hitting Marshalls up like crazy. Uh, I got so many of these. This one's Northern Pine. Um, I'm. <laughs> This one, yeah, this one's Northern Pine. We'll we'll get it facing this the camera. There you go. Um, but yeah, the, the, this little plants from Marshalls, the shirts from Marshalls. I I shop at Marshalls too much, man. Um, oh, dude, we also got a we also got a surprise for the stream. So I said I was gonna be eating on stream because you know I, I always have to eat. But I picked this up, and I I decided I would eat beforehand. But then I was like, you know what? We're gonna be making everybody jealous. With these little cine sticks, dude. So some Sonic cine sticks. We're gonna lose lose a little bit of health on stream today. So that's gonna be coming up. I kind of gotta eat those soon. Yeah, <laughs> we had to keep the candle vibe going. Um, but for today, I was kind of explaining to Slayer a little bit earlier. Um, one of my buddies, I finally convinced one of my friends at work, and uh, to buy a keyboard. And I convinced him to get some pretty cool stuff. He's probably spent. Close to $200 on the setup, maybe a little bit less. Um, 
Yeah, dude, food review. It's food review time. So what he's rocking, I, you can probably see it in the description, but it's a Novel Keys uh, NK65 Entry Edition. I believe he went with the purple. Um, however, I have not opened the box yet, so we're going to be doing that. Um, and then he also got some Tangies, and then he just bought some cheap uh, keycaps he bought on Amazon to get quickly. Um, so I could do this, but I think eventually he's going to upgrade to you know a better keycap set. But um, he's not as concerned with the keycaps in general. Um, he he kind of mostly went with what I told him to get. However, I, I kind of wanted him to pick keycaps for his own, you know, he can get his own thing. But uh, yeah, so I think he's going to pick a, a nicer keycap set in the future. So um, <clears throat> Also, Sonic is great. Sonic the Hedgehog is great. And uh, Sonic the Food is great. So, you know, we're going to go ahead and eat one of these. And yeah, I'm not going to ruin my my nice, my new, nice uh, ghoul mat here, but... This is cream cheese frosting, you see. The, Sonic has really good burgers, and the one of the big benefits to Sonic is they have tater tots. Um, apparently, they got fries in here, but there's tater tots in there. And they also give you a mint. For some reason, it's in my tater tots. But I'm a huge tater tot fan, and anywhere I can get it, that's the way to go. So we're going to eat one of, these, one of these bad boys. Oh, man, I can feel my arteries getting clogged. Yo... Straight up, this is just a mini cinnamon toaster strudel. You've never you've never eaten a hedgehog? They taste like chili dogs. Hedgehogs that is, not um not not Sonic the food. Sonic the hedgehog tastes like chili dogs. I'm also a massive Sonic the Hedgehog fan. Yeah, dude, they're they're pretty good. And uh, Hippio would be sad with me right now. But we're drinking soda on stream. So we're going to do it. All right, so let me go ahead and grab my um, boxes. We're going to do them one at a time. I don't know how we want to go about it. We'll probably do the case first. So I'm going to move this big series tactile switch kind of off to the side, maybe back there so that I have space to move my keyboard back. I don't want to make it so my cable goes off. I'm way too careful with that dang thing. Even though I did get it for free, but let me let me grab the boxes. Ugh, there we go. Boom. This is the Tangies. Very excited. Um, good, I didn't dox my friend. Man, I'm really bad with labels. I keep doing that. And I definitely, yeah, I definitely need to watch out for this kind of stuff. But um, these are the keycaps, Crystal Crown keycaps. Uh, they're kind of cool, actually. I mean, they're they're basically just puddings, but without the like, it's more it's translucent or transparent instead of translucent. So we're gonna try that out. You don't understand American food stuff. What do you mean? Um, what do you mean American food stuff? <clears throat> you like so swish. Uh, I don't think I understand what you're saying here, Zach, but I appreciate you stopping by, and you have a really cool icon for your YouTube channel. That's I really like that, actually. And then the Hefty Boy, which I need to make sure I don't show my friend's address. Yeah, dude, again, yeah, I always end up doxing myself, and it'd be worse if I doxed my friend, so we're not going to do that. Um, <laughs> so this is the underbelly of the box so we're gonna be opening upside down but this is the nk65 so i guess we might as well just hop into it right pull out the knife get the nice little uh, let's not burn myself let's left hand this there we go so satisfying and i'm one of those people that has to cut like i'm not gonna rip a box ever i don't know it's just a, it's a, something that I gotta do. Always gotta have the clean Pog NK box. Get that hand warming on the page, or on the page, what the heck am I talking about? On the stream here. Yeah, dude, this, uh, it's kind of dangerous having fire, honestly. Ooh, that's actually kind of sick. I've not seen that sticker. I didn't get that with my um, NK65. And, yeah, 
So we'll probably, we might do like a little comparison to my NK65. So I, I think for today, I think I'm gonna just do like a, a build stream. It's We'll probably end up posting this for like maybe hour, hour and a half. And we're gonna do a build with stock tangies. But I am gonna lube these tangies with, um, I'm gonna lube and film them to a 5G0 with desk key films. Um, treat my buddy right, give him, give him the nice experience for his first board. Um, and that's just a shipping label, so that's all that's in there. So, here we can see the specs. NK65, um, purple, polycarbonate, so it's the entry edition. And yeah, I, I really do like the box, uh, the packaging for this. It, it's not like this, okay, this little strip, the sleeve, is like really cool. I don't know why I'm a big fan of sleeves. Um, so I really do like that. Like overall, I think the box that came with the, um, with this bad boy right here, the KBD fans is a little bit nicer. And the carrying case is definitely nicer. However, I do like the sleeve. Uh, Slayer, you just got new switches from Keeps for All. I don't think I know what Keeps for All is. Uh, oh, you got a sponsor. Maybe I need to start getting the grind on back again so I can get a sponsor. Shoot, that'd be nice. I also haven't reached out to a single person about sponsorship. So that's probably also why I don't have a sponsor. Just kidding. It's probably because I don't upload videos. <laughs> Um, I'm not even really looking to get a sponsorship unless somebody doesn't want to give me one. Then we'll see. But I really just am doing this because I think it's fun. Sleeves, you said. Yes, I did say sleeves. I, I had to take a second to think about what I was even talking about there. So um, overall, you're going to see a novel keys box. It is a little bit like... Crooked? I, I can't really show this to you guys, but it does feel a little crooked. But actually, this thing's pretty packed full. So I'm, I'm thinking something maybe got loose inside. So let's unzip it. No. Oh, it's just because of this right here. So obviously, you've got the cable. Um, the camera's looking really good on stream today. I don't know what I did, but it really is doing nice. So you've got the cable. Um, you know, obviously, pretty generic uh, cable. It's it's a pretty decent cable. I, I'm a little triggered sometimes with these, like, weird orientation. And, and also, it's pretty short, like, maybe three feet. Um, but, yeah. Slayer, you can hook me up. Oh, are you talking about sponsorships? Because, <laughs> hey, they'd slide in my DMs, man. Um, speaking of DMs, I've been thinking about this recently, and, and I think it was the last stream you mentioned this, but I really do want to get a, get a Discord started up. Um, I do have a Discord for myself, but like quite literally nobody's in it but me. Um, it's called Ghoul's Cafe. If you guys are a fan of Tokyo Ghoul, you'll get the reference. Um, but that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Hopefully can, uh, kind of move towards that way, but, um... Again, it's just something that I think would be cool for if people wanted to reach out to me specifically. Now, I'm not looking to, um, I don't know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Let's see what people want. Um, but I, I kind of want to just do it anyways because it sounds fun. So, overall, again, I have my own NK65, so I already have my own thoughts and feelings about how this case is. This does feel different. C give me one second. Let me. This is definitely nicer than like the interior. <clears throat> definitely feels a lot different than my other one. Let me grab my other one. But here's the board right there. Um, now this is obviously like a round two board, and mine was also B stock, so maybe there's little differences. But let me get mine. So I'm starting to think I might be wrong about the case. Yes, uh, NK65 Entry Edition. Um, and I also have my KBD Fans case right behind me too. So 
I can kind of show that off. So, um, so here's this. It feels like it's airy for some reason. Like it's kind of weird. Like it's not the bottom isn't flush or something. Um, here is my NK65 with some. Uh, what switches am I rocking in this? Are these Holy Pandas? <laughs> Actually, yeah. So they're mostly Holy Pandas, except this top one is a Holy Kiwi. Beautiful switch. I, I would, ugh, dang, dude. I would be hard pressed to say that the Holy Kiwi isn't my favorite switch. I, I honestly think Holy Kiwi, at least this specific one, man, it sounds beautiful. Listen to this. Incredible switch. I don't know, man. I, and I'm not even a huge tactile fan. That one's just crazy. My room is organized? Yeah, dude. I, I spent like some time cleaning up before we started this, if I'm being honest. Okay, so no, it is the same. Mine just, yeah, mine also has the air, airy bottom. Huh. His is slightly more rounded, but I think that might just be the way that it was manufactured. Like, just a slight inconsistency. The top looks better, though. Mine's more flat. So, I wonder if that, I wonder if the shape of my case was part of the B stock. Either that, or maybe it, it was just crushed. Like, you can see it's kind of like, his is a bit more rounded. And mine is a bit more, like, crushed. But that also could be me. I, I've had this for a decent amount of time, so who knows. So, this is my NK65 with the, um, what keycap set is this? It is a HK Gaming Chalk, I think is what it is. With the Holy Pandas and a few other switches built in. Um, let's get this case out of the way. Well, carrying case. We want the normal case here and unwrapping it there's something nice about it like just being brand new uh, like I obviously own this board but just unwrapping a brand new board is just it feels nice and clean so here's the NK65 entry edition really nice looking board um, is it distracting having my board in the background let's pick that up and hold it over the fire but uh, pretty I mean, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of NK65, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I don't have very many complaints about it. One thing that E1 pointed out to me in the past, I believe it was E1, is that it is a little bit like rickety sounding. Like, I don't know if you guys can hear that. It's got a little bit of flex to it, but it's the way that the um, underneath, so you can see there's this line right here, and it's around the entire case. The case is like, inset inside of itself um that like the top covers the entire bottom and so the plastic kind of gets a little rickety but like if i'm being i don't know let's see let's you won't be able to hear this but i will okay there is a little bit of noise when you do that but like at typing i have never noticed that so it is kind of just one of those things that's like yeah maybe it's a, a sign of some sort of manufacturing quality but personally i i just don't care so that's kind of a, a preference thing. So there is the board. Let's go ahead and ship that off to the side and let's do the switches next. And again, if you weren't here, actually I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ruin the experience for y'all on what these switches are. Even though you could just look in the comments or whatever description so um we got some stickers this is kind of sick so he got some stickers from switch keys he may have actually ordered these himself uh i honestly don't know but these are pretty sick um got a switch key sticker and uh it's kind of a japanese sunrise it goes this way i believe um pretty cool if not switch keys may have just sent them i i do not know and the gold or the orange, however you want to call it. Some switch peas, tangerine, light greens. Um, I'm gonna look at the paper to see if he did order those stickers. Not that it matters. I'm... No, he didn't. They just sent him some stickers. Good stuff, switch peas. Um, if you've never shopped from switch peas, they are Australian. So it does take a while to get here. These probably took about two or three weeks, maybe probably around the three week range. Um, some, you know, you can get stuff a little bit faster from stuff in the area. 
uh, I never have good a good time with anything based in California, but um, in the Midwest, for example, um, Kinetic Labs is good for me. I get stuff pretty fast from them. Um, but other than that, yeah, I just never have good trouble. Um, yeah, Switch Keys just likes my friend. To be, to be honest, that's probably the truth. They said, hey, there's a newbie, has never, hey, this is his first keyboard, so let's treat him right. And you know what? I'm all for it. Let's go ahead and open up. One thing I don't like about these tubs that you get with the Tangies is they are like really rigid plastic and super prone to crack and break. Like you can see this is already broken. I like to reuse these things. Um, but these ones just straight suck. Ooh, I'm in the way. So here's a better one I've gotten. And I don't know what... Oh, yeah, actually, this is from Candy. But this plastic, look, you can just like straight up abuse it, peel it, and it just comes off. This is actually from Candy from Ikea. But uh, this is where I've got my leftover lubed up um, Duroc switches. I also have the Kinetic Lab, tu lab tubs, but they are full and I need to buy more. So, bam. These are the Tangy Light Greens. Hold up. I mean, they're inc they sound incredible on lube, if I'm being completely honest. They're fantastic switches on lube. Granted that, or a stock, I guess is the right way to say, because they are lightly lubed. And um, I may be able to show that. Let's give it a try. Some of you guys might already have some Tangy experience. So you know what I'm talking about. Um, is my switch box getting in the way? Here we go. All my stuff's in this little drawer, but I have a stuff in the way. So got me that nice Kinetic Labs switch opener. I needed a metal one for a long time. So let's go ahead and pop one of these suckers open. And while I'm at it, oh yeah, here's my tub of Tangies. Did he get a bigger tub? No. no, yes, no, I don't know, I think it's slightly bigger. And then, um, this is what we're gonna do. The magnet, boys. Just open that up. These were like $2 at, uh, what's up, Cozy? No, hey, no worries, man, we're just, uh, you can, uh, I'll show you what we, what we opened up, NK65 Entry Edition for m one of my buddies from work. And, uh, yeah, dude, this switch opener is great, I love it. Um, but then, yeah, so we're, uh, he's also got Tangies, um, light green, so the 62 um, gram weight. And I was just talking about these like little uh, magnet bowls I got from, what is that place called? Micro Center for like literally $2 each. So I just got four of them. Really great for switches. I I'll show you the switch flow. It makes it so it's really easy to organize, especially the magnet pieces. Um, you pop open the switches, you go bam, top housing stem spring bottom and that's the flow you just do that for all of them it's great big 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 fan um so overall let's take a look at the stem and yeah so these are very lightly lubed like it, it is so light it's it's probably almost unnoticeable but I, I bet it does have a slight effect though um i don't think i could show this on stream on camera it, i don't think it, my camera is going to focus on my hand can I make it focus on my hand? No. Okay. I don't know how to. I, I don't know how to work my camera that well, to be completely honest with y'all. But uh, overall, huge fan of Tangies, as everyone is. Um, what is the way this goes back in? Good question. Let's do the bottom first. That's how I normally do it. Spring. I normally use a tool rather than just straight my fingers. Just use random plastic bowls and cups. See. Lockerish, that's the way to go about it, man. Um, don't spend money on dumb stuff. But these were $2. Sorry about that loud noise. They're very magnety. So these were $2. So I spent $8 total, and they've come in really good handy. Especially for, like, um, for example, unscrewing unscrewing a case. And you have all those screws laying around. Magnet bowls are nice. At least one of them is worthwhile, I'd say. And last but not least, before we start building this thing is opening up the keycap set again this is not the final set that he's going to end up going with i don't believe maybe he will but i think um i think he was basically explaining to me that he kind of went with this because it was a cheap set from amazon um and 
wanted to um, just get something quick while you know to build something quickly with his keyboard spent forty dollars on wildcat lubing station and called it an investment but it kind of is yeah actually let me show you my lubing flow real quick So when you guys buy switches from Dura or from uh, Drop, and I don't know if it's all Drop switches or if it's just Drop, um, I don't know if it's all switches on Drop or if it's just Holy Pandas, but you get these rails, and you can take your switches. So what I do is when I take apart my switches, I do the um, I do three bowls, and I do the top housing, and then the stem, and then the spring, and then I put the bottom housing in this, and I do ten wide. And that way I normally just do 10 switches at a time so I don't get too bored or like, you know, my back starts hurting from sitting here forever. Um, but I have like a ton of these because I bought a crap load of like Holy Pandas. I think I bought like, I don't know, but it gave me, a, they gave me a ton of these. So theoretically, if you, if you deconstruct all your switches, like if I deconstruct all my switches for a flow, I can fill out all of these rows and be ready to go and just have all the bottom um, pieces. So... These are really nice rails, um, highly recommended. It segments out your switches and they're easy. Like once you get them um, separated, you can just ooh, you can just like throw them into wherever you put your switches, uh, your keyboard stuff. So I actually have this big toolbox, I'll show on stream too, that I put all my keyboard stuff in, all of my tools. And so over here I've got lubing, um, brushes here I got like screwdriver these are all like my uh, switch pullers all that kind of stuff yeah all that this is a stem holder so I just kind of got like I try to organize all my kind of stuff here and then lube keep all that in place a uh, little bit of desk keys some scissors all that kind of stuff so I, I put it all in one spot that's how you gotta do it and uh, that way you can just carry it around if you need to. So I bring that over to my girlfriend's or my fiance's house um, from time to time whenever I need to work on stuff. So, you know, it is what it is. So let's go ahead and pop open these keycaps and see how they are. They don't seem to be in a box or are they? Okay, they are in a layered box. Um, let me take a look at if it says anything. I don't know if these are PBT or ABS. The whole front is covered with a shipping label. I can't, I honestly can't tell. So let's check it out. Um, these are kind of interesting looking though. Um, now one thing I am concerned with is does he have the right keys? I may end up like Toby in this situation and not have the right keycaps. Um, in that situation, I could give him a few keycaps from some leftover sets, which I think he is missing a shift key. I don't know if he at like he definitely did not ask me before he bought these so I did not I did not send him down the wrong direction it's hard getting orders what do you uh, what do you mean it's hard getting orders man so this is the QWERTY flow and then we've got a long shift on the right side there is no short shift the uh, 1.25 I think is what you need for in case 65 so I probably will have to convince him to get a new key gap set which shouldn't be that hard but um, let me open up one of these packs so I can kind of show you guys what we're getting into here again just a cheap key cap set um, to tie them over I think these are pretty interesting so um, they're kind of two layered the bottom part being completely transparent instead of translucent like puddings. So they're similar to puddings. I believe they might be OEM. I believe they're OEM. Um, the legends are pretty solid, if I do say so. They look to be 
possibly double shot. They definitely feel double shot, so I think they are double shot. Um, a little inconsistent around the edges, but the actual legends themselves are pretty consistent. There's no like weird gamer font or anything like that, so you know it is what it is. Grind down the long range <laughs> the 1.75 units. I dude, I have a bunch of like I bought like Razer PBT keycaps back in the day, and I so I, I I'm never gonna use this ever again. So I may just slap a black one on here. Um, we'll see though. I, I don't know what he's gonna want to do. I'll, I'll talk to him tomorrow at work, but um, so let's move these out of the way. And I think it is time to bring back the eating stream because I'm hungry. So these are the Cinestics from Sonic for those of you who were not here earlier. And this is cream cheese frosting. If you have a Sonic nearby, seriously, go get these. They're like three dollars they're literally just toaster strudels which are already amazing but they're like cinnamon toaster strudels which i never had all right um one more one more we're gonna grind this out and then we're getting back we're gonna actually build this board now Very nice. Cozy knows what's up. He knows what's up. The moment you found Taobao, it changed your life. What about Taobao? I, I've actually never shopped on Taobao. Um... If I, if I shop from like uh, kind of Chinese vendor stuff, I usually go to Banggood, but to be honest, I, I haven't bought anything from Banggood in so long. I feel like I've kind of mentally moved past the one or past the want to buy things that are a little bit on the cheaper side. And I'm more so like just trying to get to the point where I'm building in game <laughs> for me. Uh, you can kind of see behind me, ooh, other way. Behind me, I've cut that one. A little bit of collection going, but plus this board, Plus this board, and these are all like budget boards. So I'm like, I just, <laughs> I want a in-game board. By in-game, I just mean expensive board. And what I'm looking for is the Space 80 Apollo, um, but it hasn't been made yet. It hasn't even gone through its like whole thing yet. It's got good cheap priced stuff. Okay, yeah, I've noticed like on on like Banggood, you can get a lot of different types of switches and stuff. I think Taobao has this has like a lot of different types of switches. Um, some like weird ones, I know. If you've got those, uh, the Fecker Milky Greens, um, I don't think those are recommended, but I honestly don't know. Yeah, I think the random switches are like interesting though because people like it. Also, my hands aren't greasy, by the way. I'm not getting grease all over my friend's board, just to let you know. I'm not that reckless. You can see for yourself. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm buying the Space 80. Like, I don't I don't care, dude. I'll I'll go into debt for Space 80. Where do we want to start first key? Um, and I'm gonna end up looting all these <laughs> stabs too at some point, but not yet. I actually need to go buy more dielectric grease. <laughs> Luckily for me, the hardware store down the street has them. Okay, making sure that goes in. I was one thing I don't like about the NK65 is there's a mad struggle to get switches in and out. Like, man, you really gotta push in. I have a feeling I busted that switch. Ugh. Most random switches are made as a cheap alternative to expensive switches because Chinese are cheap, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they make like really cheap switches. Um, I mean, okay, there there is a different. There's a level of like, okay, these are so dirt cheap that like it's kind of interesting. But like aftermarket, really cheap, like can buy a hundred switches for ten bucks or something like that. 
I don't really know what the market is for that, especially if they're not going into like boards. You know, if they're not going into boards you can buy from a manufacturer. Gosh, man. This is going to be, these are going to be really a pain to get out. I'm going to end up breaking this switch, I think, if I have to use this. There we go. And of course, it was incorrectly. So I need to get that getter on switch puller. Make sure the pins are straight. See, that's the thing. As I, I'm checking the pins on every single time, but um, the NK65 is just with the way that the um, what was cringe, man? What was cringe, cozy? But with the way that the NK65's plate works, is you just can't tell. Like the whole thing kind of makes like a weird noise as you're pushing switches in. So it, it feels like you're breaking them every single time. What was the apex drop? I don't know what that means. I know that was for Slayer though. These tangies look insane in these lighting. Get on switch puller. Got, dude, I, I need to buy one. I need I, I do this enough to the point where like all my boards are hot swap. So I need one. We'll put it that way. Hopefully I loosen up like that did not sound good. Yep, I bent the hell out of that one. I need to get my tool to unbend. And you know, I'll just grab another switch for now. But in the future, I will unbend that. I don't know what he's planning on doing with his extra switches. He may just let me hold on to them, which I won't be upset about getting extra tangies. If I'm being completely honest with all y'all. I'll take free tangies any day. You won. It's 11 p.m. EST tomorrow. Wait, what? Oh, you're talking about a drop for something. Um, Apex keyboards. What? What's the drop? What are they? What are they releasing tomorrow? We're gonna. Did you not see my bus joke? I did. I didn't see your bus joke. Uh. Let's test this right here. Okay, these are all working. That is a lot of RGB boys. Uh, tomorrow, not today. Okay. Um, marsh. Oh, marshmallows. Tangerines. These are tangerines. I did not see a bus joke. Where is this at? I don't see it at all. Yeah, dude, I don't see your bus joke on here. It might have got. It might have got blocked. YouTube might have blocked it. I'm, I'm using Streamlabs to see this right now. Um, yeah, I, I don't think it went through. You, you might have said something that YouTube didn't like. Dude, I am so not looking forward to taking apart this board, taking all the stitches out. Yeah, it probably did get blocked, yeah. Dude, I see, I see Zach and E1 talking in the lobby right now. Over on Hippio's Discord. So, any of you guys who have tangerine experience, 67 gram or 62 gram preference, I need to know. I have only used 62 gram, and so far, I am a fan. 
I do like the lighter spring weight. I've never used, well, I've used yellows, Gator and yellows, which are what, 55 gram, I think. But um, aside from yellows, I've never used a lighter spring weight other than, I guess, browns. But I don't, we don't count those here. We don't count browns here. I realize how bad that sounds, but I meant Sherry MX Browns. I do have Gateron Brown or Kill Box Browns, and I'm actually not a hater of Kill Box Browns. Uh, yeah, are you saying it makes you nervous because of how hard I have to push these? Because it makes me nervous to do. Let me see how it looks on stream. Yeah. Let's see if that one works because that one didn't sound good. <laughs> It worked. These are all working. See, I'm not messing them up, dude. You gotta trust me here. Oh, <laughs> is that self promo? Rip, we're gonna delete that message. I didn't know I was typing in self promo. Rip. What do you know, Mike chat? No, Mike chat. Browns are goat. Dude, kill box browns are pretty nice. I won't lie. I don't hate kill box browns by any means. They're not my favorite switches. Uh, they're not even close. They're, But by pretty nice, I mean they're okay for like a crappy brown switch. They're better than Cherry MX browns. Something I was thinking about earlier today, because I was thinking about this stream and, and wanting to, to do this and to set up a stream and stuff, was obviously I have not been uploading. That's that's pretty clear. I'm not, um, dude, I hate how hard to push. But, uh, and, and I don't foresee myself uploading on a consistent basis anytime soon. Work's just really busy. Um, I am pretty much any day. So pretty much every other day, like I am over at my fiance's house. Um, we are kind of planning out wedding stuff. Um, now that's not really, I'm not gonna act like that's taking up a lot of my time because it's not, but uh, I don't know. Just I'm not spending a whole lot of time at home. You know, it is COVID. I'm mostly just like at my fiance's house, but uh, so, or like when I am here, I'm not, I don't get off work until like six and usually not home until like seven and then gotta eat and then playing video games and stuff so find a time to like really sit down and grind out editing really only exists on the weekends and a lot of times i've been waking up super late so i'm wondering what type of slightly lower effort <laughs> content asides from you know well edited videos that like for example my last video i probably put at least 16 hours of editing into which i know is relatively short compared to other youtubers um but keep in mind that i'm i'm pretty much working like 45 to 50 hour weeks it's really tough to find that time to fit in that amount of editing within a within a couple weeks time right um so i'm wondering like what type of like lower effort content would people be interested in seeing such as what you're seeing right now streams um hard part about streams is it's not super sustainable like i i can't just do this every single day because i have to have the content like i have to have the pieces um but i could break out what i'm doing in in stream into lower effort video for example that's an idea um there's also a lot of stuff streams are the best low effort thing to do yeah no i i agree with you lockerish um there's a lot of stuff that i'm interested in that i also don't share on my youtube channel like obviously if you, if you if you look at my youtube channel i've done everything under the sun at this point um in terms of video games so i'm not really looking towards that but like some of the stuff i'm i'm a really big fan of if you couldn't tell by my name i love like horror content um so that's something i've like thought about it's like uh, stuff like that i don't know how i could blend keyboards into it oh um another thing and this is kind of a little bit of an update on some of the stuff that i've been working on behind the scenes dude this these tangerines look insane in this light. But um, one of my buddies and I actually just recently bought a resin printer. And so we were looking into possibly creating some, you know, resin printed keycaps. And I'm not sure what the quality is going to be like. It was a cheaper resin printer. 
but uh, maybe that's something people might be interested in. Maybe the you know kind of documenting the process of that, or maybe even making them and, and potentially selling them in the future. So that's kind of something we're looking for. Hire Larry as stream highlighter. I I, I would actually be interested in in like seeing what people's rates are for that type of thing. My thing is 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 being somebody who is in the design field. Um, I really like want people to get paid what they deserve in this but I also don't know if I've got the means right now to be able to pay somebody that way and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take somebody for like a cheaper price so not not saying that I'm not going to like take somebody who has a lower rate I'm saying I'm not going to pay them less or like ask them to you know accommodate for me so you know it, it is what it is um, and I'm not saying that like I'm not saying that like I'm like I'm broke. It's just like being able to set the money aside to hire somebody to, to edit video may may not be something that I am super looking for. Hire you, you edit five bucks a stream. Honestly, dude, five bucks a stream ain't bad. Uh, documenting them for sure gonna be good content. Okay, yeah, I mean I'm I'm definitely gonna be like definitely gonna be making key gaps. 100%. Whether or not they're good, that's a different <laughs> that's a different question. But um he my so my friend I'm working with is an industrial designer, uses CAD programs every day. He's he's really good with them and um we have pretty similar interests in things like like Pokémon and whatnot. So, we'll see if that uh if we make anything cool. I'll let you guys know. I'll, I'll show it on stream whatever. Um Larry will put the money that he has that he get to his height. Hey, Lockers, you're gonna have to. Oh, dang, dude, my thumb genuinely hurts from putting these in. You're gonna have to reword what you just said. I have no clue what that any of that means. But yeah, so I, I guess that was something I kind of wanted to bring up though today was like, what kind of content would you guys be interested in? Asides from well-edited videos, I don't think well-edited videos is in my wheelhouse anyways. That's not something that I'm super interested in making. I did a couple, and I wouldn't necessarily say they were well-edited, but I'm not really inter that interested in learning how to do these, um, you know, do do these, like, super crazy edits. Like, um, and, you know, I don't really feel like that's my style moving forward, so we'll see how it goes. E1, dude, yes, I agree. I am really enjoying the way that this looks. Looks way... Tangies just look so nice, and I'll be honest, they look way better than my Holy Pandas do in my other NK65. Well, in, in my NK65. These Tangies look absolutely sick in this board, especially with, like, the purple, the translucent purple. This thing's going to look... I think he's going to be pretty excited with it when he gets it. I'm really wondering how the lighting's going to work through the orange um, Tangy, though. I could just turn it off. That's what I do with mine. Or actually, I might have mine set to purple. Okay, let's do a keyboard checker real quick, um, and I'll let you guys know if everything's working or not. Keyboard checker. Okay, top row. Uh, the one. Key okay. Okay, those are all working. I'll let you do this quickly. Sorry for that obnoxious noise if you heard that. I have a, uh, whenever I, on my computer, I have it set so whenever you hit caps lock, it makes that because in games, it's really annoying to have cap locks proc. All the keys work. Let's try spacebar. That's the last one. They all work. That's what I like to see. Um, Okay, Cozy. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Let me know when you're back, though. I'm expecting you. Get a little bit of Dr. Pepper in me before we move on. Um, this is the kind of busted switch. Can I fix this with my fingers? That actually would work. That's good enough to go back in. So this is the board. No keycaps yet. I'm going to show that off. The lighting is what makes it, man. That like ring light that I've got makes this thing look real nice. What do I usually play, Lockerish? Um, 
I am mostly an Overwatch player. However, I do play um, Valorant from time to time. I'm pretty garbage. I'm 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 equivalent to hot dog water. About a, I'm a silver, but like I would say, I don't know if I deserve to be a silver. Actually, I don't know. I'm probably a silver rating. Um, actually, I'm a gold because my friend plays my account, but uh, I'm I'm a silver player. Um, and then also, aside from that, uh, I've been playing Pokemon Mystery Dungeon um, Rescue Team DX on the on the Switch. Um, I'm a, just a huge Pokemon player in general. So, these keycaps are actually kind of cool. Like, definitely on the, definitely like on the um, cheaper side in terms of what they're offering, right? But I kind of like, I kind of like how these look with the tangies, dude. And they feel good. But yeah, I'm a huge Pokemon fan, so I play a lot of Pokemon. People using WASD move as movement keys are weird. E S D F. Why would you use E S D F? Why would you want to do that ever? Why would you do that to yourself? I'm actually kind of upset these keycaps didn't come with a shift, uh, a right shift like a um, 1.75 unit because they kind of look pretty sick yeah I, I feel that man I I pretty much I only really play at night um, I play right you know before I go to bed when I'm hanging out me and my friends will just be playing on um, overwatch on PC we just hop on discord and that's how I that's kind of how I relax before I go to bed and so if I relax I'm not really relaxed I'm actually out here stressing cuz I'm trying to win a comp match I kind of want to hear what these stabs sound like it's really these feel scratchy like rattly and scratchy I feel like there's something going on with this keycap Here, I'm gonna pull this down. Listen to how good these sound, and then listen to the stabilizer key. And then here's the stabilizer key. <laughs> it's kind of whack. Um, I can have my mic in the camera, who cares? All right, who cares? Uh, you use ESDF because you're used to placing your fingers on ASDF. So the three fingers are for WASD. Alright. Dude, that is the weirdest configuration I've ever seen. You're a Dvorak typer? Ah. That, okay. So your keys are not even in the same order then. All I'm saying, guys, is there's nothing worse than buying a keycap set only to realize that they don't fit your keyboard, <coughs> your keyboard size. <laughs> Very nice stabs. <laughs> they are unlubed, okay? They're, or I guess they're factory lubed. I'm pretty sure the NK65 entry edition comes factory lubed. Oddly enough, when I got mine factory lubed, they were, um, or when I got my board in, the factory lube was actually pretty nice. I honestly think it might have sounded better than my um, lube job afterwards when I took them out. So here are these keycaps for now. I mean, you can straight see the tangies through them, which I think is kind of cool. I'm interested to see how these play out with um, some RGB. Oh, you know what these also might not have is the 1.25 unit. And, and in fact, they do not the 1.25 unit control buttons actually no you need the one unit but uh keycaps down here never mind 1.25 unit is for the kbd 67 light windows alt the b stock stabs hit different 
See, these ones are actually not B stock. This is actually straight up, but yeah. Oh, you're talking about mine. Yeah, mine was B stock. And and somehow they turned out super nice. They said, hey, and, and I saved 10 bucks on it, man. Here is the other half of the board. Comes with an interesting keycap puller there. Pull off the F keys, do not need that. I'm excited. <laughs> these keycaps are very tight on the switches. If I'm, I'm just telling you guys, these things have very tight stems. A little, little bit of stem wobble there, though. I think the quality of these keycaps are like gen generally pretty good. Like for what they are, I don't know how much you spend on these, but I, I can't imagine it being a whole lot. Let's look. Uh, exclamation point build, dude. I, I wish it could do that. I, I honestly don't know how to do that. I have to look it up. But the build is, if you open up the description, you'll be able to see what, what I'm putting together there. What is this? Uh, Crystal Crown QQ apps. Is that the L? Oh, it's not. Guys, I'm tripping over here. close enough crystal crown keycaps black it's so transparent that it looks like a laptop keycap dude it, it, they kind of do honestly so let's see how much these things cost dude these are 20 bucks so for 20 bucks yeah maybe he's missing one key okay technically he's missing four um, but hey you know 20 bucks not too bad and the quality the build quality of them like actually feels pretty nice and I'll show you guys the um, the legends a little bit closer they're not bad either there's not really any like missed imperfections I would say now these things are gonna get oily and greasy really fast I don't have greasy fingers right now and they're getting a little greasy let's put that space bar on Yeah, those stabs are not great, if I'm being honest with y'all. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but not super good. Not the keycaps fault, though. Those will all get looped. This entire board is coming apart. Like, maybe not right after this video, but this weekend, all these switches are getting looped. 205G0. Stabs are going to be 205G0 plus um dielectric grease i kind of want to try out that uh that newer formula that people have been using i forget what it's called but it's just a bunch of letters um just like a thicker grease honestly i got no complaints about dielectric grease yeah it's super thick whatever it works out now i do want to see are these like even evenly distributed in terms of the, the legend is pretty centered on all of them although some of them look a little crooked I will say that but that could be the switch itself but I doubt it I don't know maybe I'm wrong that F for example looks crooked R maybe too But they feel pretty nice. So that's all for this batch of keycaps on that. I mean, for 20 bucks, I, I literally, I'm sure he can't complain. I can't complain.
backspace up on that. Um, we don't need, we do need home. We need page up, page down. What? Uh, page up, page down, in. And in. Yeah, dude, these things track fingerprints like no other. How do I look so incredibly fly? You pull off the look too well. Um, can you plug it in to show your boy Zach? <laughs> yes, I can, my dude. Yes, I can. Lots, too much RGB, all right? Too much RGB. Um, Zach, to answer your question, I do my best. I do my best. Um, enter. What is this key? This guy. Aha. Um, arrow keys. Boop. Hey, Zach, to give you uh, a true answer here, go to Marshalls, and buy yourself some new t-shirts. Nice and easy. That fits there, right? Whoa, nope, too small. Or too, <laughs> too big. Cursed, cursed keycap, but we'll do it. Put random keys in for the missing keys. Yeah, I mean, it actually doesn't really look all that bad. I think it's just the way the keycaps work in the black background. Um, like that. If things change in your love life, hit you up, Zach. Dude, hey, I mean, you do have, of all the people here, the best YouTube picture. So, you know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I don't. I don't see anything changing. It's. It's been. Um, it's been a long time. All right. Let's unplug that, and I can show you guys the full build with keycaps on there. And again, these are unlubed. Well, they're factory lubed. Uh, Honestly, this thing looks pretty good. I mean, you can see how transparent those dang keycaps are. Like, you can see the full switch underneath, which is kind of sick. I'm, I'm kind of a fan of that. Um, does anybody remember the key bindings for the color changes on the NK65? I think it has to do with the FN, or is it just via function Z? Yes, Z. The orange. It actually is red, I think. That looks kind of clean. I mean, it's weird because it's weird because it's purple, right? I don't know. I just started typing. Boom! Let's pull up a monkey type. That's Monkly. Monkeytype.com. Let's move these keycaps out of the way, and I may do like a little bit of a of a typing demonstration here for you. Hey, just hit you up. I'll just hit you up anyways, my dude. But um, that southern pine or that southern that northern pine candle is going in right now. I'll tell you what, it smells good. All right, so this is kind of what we've got. Um, overall, pretty happy with how it looks. I do think obviously we could get better keycaps, but overall, pretty nice looking board, and it's gonna sound great because, you know, you guys know how tangies work. Um, I, now one thing that sucks about my mic boom arm is it does this, where it back, you can see, it, it 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 goes back. It doesn't like to stay down, so I may be able to capture some sound. We're gonna try our best here. It's gonna be right in front of my face though, on this. Uh, this test. So let's try out a little bit of monkey type.
really crappy because I missed so many. I missed so many. Um, Zach, if you hit me up with GMK Retro Trip, I don't know what I'd do, but I'm very excited about it. Let's do another typing test. I, can you guys hear that? Before I do another one, let me know. Can you guys hear that pretty well or no? Is, is, it, is it like too quiet? Zach, if I'm completely honest, I'll probably just buy Retro Trip. So it's, it's a really nice looking uh, keycap set. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Um, I the stabs are hella loud, especially the space bar. Partially the guess who named Zach's set. Um, well, it sounds Lockridge. It sounds like you are gonna say that you did it. However, that's that's too obvious. I'm gonna guess Slayer. Slayer did it. I probably have actually heard this before. Um, I really don't know though. It was all you, Locke did nothing. Oh, okay, so he's debating me then. Nice. I don't know if I trust you either though, Zach. You were the good side. Remember that. Can you guys hear the typing test? Or, or is it too quiet? Because that's what I really want to know. Oh, I don't know. I, I heard Slayer did it. That's what um that's what Chad told me. I don't know, man. Slayer, dude, you're trying to mess with me right now. But we're going to do another typing test. And you guys can hear these loud stabs. It's a great time. I'm trying to get this uh, configured properly here. Uh, muted myself. Okay. I don't know if that is even going to work, but it is a condenser mic. Should pick it up. I think that's the right term. Oh my gosh. Scuffed. say anything what do you mean you didn't say anything I I hear there's some liars in in the chat um, yeah overall pretty happy with how this thing looks and sounds um, this keys a little bit janky but it actually doesn't look okay it doesn't look good but it's not the worst thing I've ever heard. It sounds good. Okay, that was really delayed lockers, but that's okay. But you're about to hear what some Tangies lubed sound like with with a polycarb plate instead of a a, a metal. I honestly don't know what's in that. Is it a? Uh, I think it's an aluminum plate. You guys are about to hear what Tangies lube sound like with the soft plate. Actually. Only a few of these are Tangies. Um, <laughs> actually, most of these are L7s. Um, 10 out of 10, dude. There's no way. This stabs, man. But all right, let's go, let's go for it. Let's go for this. Let's go for this keyboard here. Let's see what this is going to sound like. Ooh, I'm messing with everything. Here we go. A lot of these are L7s, so keep in mind. You can check GMK Retro Trip Geek Hack IC, and you'll see me in the credits. Hey. Listen, I'm going to just act like I did that, and I'm going to tell you that I saw Slayer in the credits. How about that? Does that sound good? I don't know. I don't know. All right, just kidding. Just kidding. Well, Chris, I, I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did a lot. The name Retro Trip's sick. 
and I'm really excited for it actually. I'm, I'm definitely going to pick it up. Let's listen to this keyboard real quick. Actually, cool boards that gave the name. Damn right, Zach. That's that's exactly that's the truth. One hundred percent. I hey man, I heard that I get sixty percent of the profits. Let's do one more test on this keyboard too. I honestly can't hear it very well because I got these headphones in. It's a lot quieter. Ooh, scuffed. Six. It sounds a bit far. Yeah, uh, I, this keyboard's a lot quieter, my dude. Um, and with that, um, <laughs> unfortunately, in order to get my mic to actually pick up, the keyboard sounds well. Like, so I can turn up the gain, which it's actually the second highest setting right now. But if I turn up the gain, um, you'll, you'll start hearing my computer. My computer is really loud. The fans are super loud. And so whenever I make videos, I'll show you what I do. You'll be able to see it on stream. This is literally how I have to record sound tests whenever I make videos. So I get this way down here like this and do it with my keyboard off to the side. Um, I take another keyboard because this is what's this is what having more than one keyboard is meant for. And put it on top of the arm and I balance it very delicately so it doesn't fall. And I let it sit. It's got to get a good balance. And there you go. And that is how I get my mic close. So now you'll see typing tests. And, and this is all doing is over top of fire right now. So probably not a safe idea. But let's, let's show you what it sounds like with the mic a little bit closer to the keyboard. How does that sound? A little better? Is that a bit louder for you? I honestly don't know how much different, it, how much of a difference it makes, but in theory it should because it is definitely closer and more pointed at it. Ooh, that is right in the camera. Let's do that. There we go. Very genius. That's what I like to hear. What are you guys thinking? Does that sound better? This is going to be flagged as 18 plus. No, just because there's fire in here? Come on. It's a stream. Don't worry about it. All right. I think it's time that we uh, get rid of the fire. A little bit of the smoke coming in the screen. Look at that aesthetic, dude. Here. Oh, watch this. That's for the stream uh, picture. Thumbnail. There we go. Oh man, keyboards galore all over the desk. It's always a good feeling. It sounds very orgasmic. See it? See? Told you it would work. I told you it would work. Now it's going to get flagged as 18 plus because I read what you said. So 
Thanks, Locke. <laughs> but, um, yeah, overall, hey, thanks for stopping by, guys. Um, it was a fun stream. I've got some, like I said, I've, uh, I probably shouldn't put that on yet. Like I said, I've got some ideas coming. There's some, you know, going to be some new stuff coming, possibly 3D printed keycaps. We'll see how that works. Um, we do have both just like a regular, I think it's, what is it? PLA. Um, it's PLA plastic. Is that the generic 3D printing plastic? Yeah. So we've got like some PLA. Um, he's, my friend's got a, his own 3D printing um just like a regular 3D printer with PLA. And then we also have a resin printer now. So we're going to be testing out some stuff in that regard. There's a keycap that I wanted to create like forever ago, which is a, which is um, Alphonse's helmet. If you guys know who Alphonse from Full Metal Alchemist is, I was actually working on a Full Metal Alchemist keycap set probably about six months ago, and I have not really pursued it in a long time, maybe a little bit less than six months. But so it may come back to that. Um, we've got some content that I can do. It's just trying to figure out the time to do it um i kind of want to commit to some low effort stuff and just really uploading more often or doing more stuff more often streams maybe but um yeah again i appreciate everybody stopping by i think uh thank you guys for the excitement it made this a lot more fun than just putting together a keyboard i mean that in itself is pretty fun but uh it's more fun to do with other people here so i appreciate it uh, lock zach uh, e1 slayer who else we got? We got Cozy in here. We got, um, you know, everybody else who joined. Noise. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks for stopping by. And until next time, y'all. Peace.